Rights demand responsibility, especially the right to keep and bear arms. Those words sum up the philosophy of America's most renowned training academy that's been offering firearms instruction to law enforcement, to elite military, and to law-abiding citizens for 35 years. Buzz Mills and his instructors now continue the teaching tradition created by the late Jeff Cooper. Gunsight teaches the legal, safe, and effective right to self-defense, a right considered very important to a group of students from Smith & Wesson. These shooters have come from the East Coast and West. They are all from Smith & Wesson. Some are company executives. Some are family members. A few do business with the firearms maker, but all of them are women and they have come here to discover four important lessons at this high desert shooting range. The first thing these students learn is how to be safe with firearms. All right, so what's rule number one? Yes, all guns are always loaded. That is just our mindset. Stand by. Next, they find out how firearms work. In this case, a Smith & Wesson M&P semi-auto pistol. Verify, lock that back, lock that back. Lock it all the way back. Every single time you unload, you must lock that slide back, okay? And they learn how to shoot this tool correctly and on target. Back, back, back. But at this school, safe and proper firearms technique is only the beginning. The most important lesson is that self-defense is mostly in your mind. The gun is not the major part of it. The gun is a tool. And, and what we're dealing with is the mindset. This is Gunsight, one of the most respected firearms training institutes anywhere in the world. 2,000 remote acres in the Arizona high desert devoted to a mission, giving good people the skill and confidence to defend themselves, to be more responsible citizens. We teach them, you know, don't look like prey, don't look like food. You know, don't look like the hunted, look like the hunter. And you may never have to employ the skills that you learn here if you approach your life that way. Fire! And that is why the Smith & Wesson women are at gun sight, to improve their defensive pistol skills, to build their confidence when handling firearms, and to do it in the gun sight way. Beautiful, Kathleen. Yeah. Good job. Mindset. We really want women to understand that they, no matter who they are, have the weapon that you know, lies between our ears, and that can get them out of all sorts of trouble. Ginger Chandler, Vice President of Product Design, certainly believes that philosophy. Absolutely. It gives you confidence. You know how you're going to be able to handle yourself, and you make a plan. You make a plan. And so you, you, you think about every situation that you're going to go in, and you're not a victim. But Ginger knows shooting skills are critical, too, if she is ever faced with a threat. I got him. <laughs> yes, I did. He's dead, which is a good thing. Go! No! Ginger believes so strongly in the value of this self-defense training, she brings her daughter to gun sight. I already recommended it to my roommate at school. She's a big shooter, too. And I was like, if you ever get a chance, go to gun sight. It's awesome. Building skill and confidence is clearly the point of this gun sight exercise. Stop! Savannah is working through a simulated home invasion with instructor Iling Nu. Each room offers another test of her ability to think and shoot. And when the scenario is over and the bad guys are defeated, the teacher critiques her students' performance. All right. So what do you think of that? Good. I forgot some things. But That's okay. It, you, it came back. You were very, very smooth. Yeah. There were a couple of places where I thought you kind of rushed. And coming through the doors, you started to just kind of barrel through the door. Each student, in turn, works through this drill, testing her ability to make decisions when the adrenaline is really pumping. 
testing her ability to observe her surroundings, assess potential threats, and think clearly to protect herself. This is absolutely the, the best thing to do because now it's going to make me go home and do scenarios because, you know, I don't live in Candyland. You know, you need to be prepared for things. Press the trigger, take up some slack, press, and let it go. The wife of Smith & Wesson's chief executive officer, Eileen Golden, agrees with that idea completely. Your brain is your best defense. It certainly does make you more aware of your surroundings. I mean, I'm always aware now. In my own home, in parking lots, going to malls. In this world, it's becoming more dangerous. But these women are learning in just one week at Gunsight how they can improve their odds in a threatening situation with training and a plan. To be better prepared and to be better trained, I think is a good thing, always. And so I tell them by Friday, you're gonna have an epiphany. You're gonna change your life. You're never gonna live your life the same way again. And by Friday, they do. They really do. And coming up, the Smith & Wesson women don protective gear and come face to face with an attacker. You're watching Shooting USA, America's number one source for firearms news and information. Basic safety, proper firearms handling, and hitting your target. These are the lessons of the Defensive Pistol Course, the lessons the gunsight instructors are drilling into instincts for the Smith & Wesson women. But what class would be complete without a series of tests? And what we might call a pop quiz or two. Every school, even shooting school, requires some time in the classroom, but not many lessons begin like this. Okay, nobody move! Nobody move! I'm telling you, put your hand on the table. Put your hand on the table. Put your hand on the table. Don't move. Okay, now put your hand on the table. Don't move. If you do, you're gonna be hurt. All right, don't worry. What you're watching is only an exercise, and the women are not armed. No danger, they'll fight back. It's just one more test for these gunsight students, though clearly a very stressful one. And as you would imagine, there is a point to this. It's what happens very, very early into it that will determine how well you win, how well you come out of it. In short, if you will survive. Here's what I would like you to do. Keep the muzzle pointed downrange. Pick up the pistol and examine it. Back on the range and the Smith & Wesson women are learning about one more valuable tool they can use for self-defense. A tool they might have to put into action if that classroom invasion we saw had been an actual threat. This is the Bodyguard 380, Smith & Wesson's latest semi-auto for the concealed carry market. The women are shooting the Bodyguard for several reasons. One is simply their own education, so they get the feel of the characteristics of a compact semi-auto, like a longer and heavier trigger pull. I thought it felt great. It's a, a, of course, it's going to be a little tougher trigger pull, and the uh, poundage is going to be a little more, but. You don't want an easy gun for concealed carry. So, grip, okay, clear, rotate. A second goal is to introduce some of these shooters to the idea of carrying a concealed firearm and carrying it on a regular basis. Exactly, for concealed carry, I think the bodyguard's amazing. I loved it. Um, it's a great gun, it's a great concealed carry gun. But I really like it. I had good control with it and this will be my concealed carry. And one last reason the bodyguard is on this firing line is so Ginger Chandler can do some research. Ginger is in charge of product design for Smith & Wesson, and she wants to learn how women react when they shoot the compact 380. These women don't hold anything back. <laughs> they let me know when something's not working right or something is, hey, that didn't eject exactly the way I think it should. Could you redesign the, you know, so they have an opinion, and I like that. 
So what did the women reveal to Ginger about the bodyguard? What I learned is it's the right size. I mean, it's small. They feel like they can conceal it. I could see that we had done a good job on that firearm. And, and all, and, but I also look at, okay, what can we do different next time? Maybe like a lighter trigger pull? A few of these shooters thought it was a bit too heavy. So Ginger put them under stress, put them into competition to simulate a high adrenaline self-defense situation. Go! And as she was hoping, she learned something important in her test about the Bodyguard 380's heavy trigger pull. Liz, did you even notice, like, like before it was hard no, to Benita. shoot, did you even it notice it this time? Okay. Uh, no, Benita Much easier. Much easier this it time. Is. It is. It's true. When you're under stress, it just disappears. Ginger! What she learned is, for concealed carry, the trigger pull is right. I knew that it had a long trigger. I mean, we designed it to be that way. And so I was concerned. I mean, because you just don't know how people are going to react. I got the reaction I expected that, oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, OK. Yeah. One more Smith & Wesson executive, the shooter on the left, is also using this competition as a chance to improve her customer service. Liz Smith is vice president of investor relations. I spend a lot of time with people who aren't very familiar with firearms at all, and until I came to work for the company, I was completely unfamiliar, had never shot a firearm, never taken classes. So for me, all of it's a learning experience, and it does help. Near the end of their week at Gunsight, the Smith & Wesson women went through one more test to experience the value of concealed carry. And we're going to go around the corner into the the students put on protective clothing to confront a would-be attacker. They were armed with a concealed carry pistol loaded with marking ammunition, a half-power cartridge with a plastic powder-filled bullet. Ginger Chandler and Eileen Golden discovered a lot in this high-stress moment about what they had learned in their few days at gun sites. About what they were now prepared to do to protect themselves and the people around them. And hopefully not try and be a hero, you know. <laughs> Call 911, get help. But have a plan. I had never thought of a plan in an office building. It's exactly right. I hope that I never have to shoot anybody, but I know that I could do it. Just like real life. I know.